Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the merits of the Project 333 Wardrobe Challenge and also the 30 for 30 Wardrobe Challenge. If you've subscribed to me for a while then you'll know that I've done both of these challenges and they're both quite different in terms of what they demand. So I'm going to get started with Project 333 first just as that's what I'm kind of going to be doing for the autumn fall season coming ahead. So with Project 333 you're allowed to have 33 items in your closet so essentially this is supposed to encompass all your clothing your shoes and your handbags or accessories I have tended to just do this with my clothing and sometimes adding in the odd pair of shoes just because I do like to have a little bit more variety and I just want to make sure that I've got enough clothing to wear for the weekend and also for in the office so with these 33 items you can wear them over the three months and that is meant to be pretty much all that you are wearing. Obviously with anything though, you can change the rules to make sure that they suit you and your lifestyle, which is what I've tended to do. So with things like special occasion dresses, I won't include them. I'll just wear them for that one night out of three months that I might need it. With the 30 for 30 challenge on the other hand, this one is a one month challenge. So you do it over 30 days and you've got 30 pieces in your closet. So handbags, shoes, and clothing again and those are all of the items that you wear so obviously this is a much easier challenge for someone who is used to wearing something different every single day or who likes to have a lot of variety generally if you have been following me for a really long time following my blog mademoiselle for years then you'll know that I used to buy new things all the time and I also used to wear new things all the time a day didn't go by where I wasn't wearing something completely different and I was always mixing and matching my wardrobe in a completely different way so I never had to wear the same outfit twice Obviously, that type of behavior is not sustainable, and the woman in my office also used to comment and say that I never wore the same thing twice, and they were pretty much right, and it's really a little bit embarrassing to look back on that time and think about how much I was actually consuming. So as someone who had those types of behaviors, I thought that it would be best to start with the 30 for 30 challenge, as it's more of a way of easing yourself into it and easing yourself into living with slightly less and what I found was that I actually had so many options that I could wear something different every single day and I did document it so I was wearing a completely different outfit every single day even with those 30 pieces which I thought was kind of incredible and I guess it also kind of went to show that I had chosen quite a versatile mix of pieces and back then I did wear a lot more color and prints as well so you can just imagine it was probably a little bit more fun than the ones that I do now. I will admit that I did find it really tedious being used to having so much choice and now I'm only having a really narrow vision of what I could wear in my closet but overall I think it really did benefit me and it really did help me to realize that I didn't need to have that much of my wardrobe. So I did this probably three times before I felt ready to try the Project 333 wardrobe challenge which I think I started doing about a year and a half ago and one of the things that I think I realized before I started doing these wardrobe challenges is that People don't actually tend to notice more often than not what you're wearing, it's more what you are thinking about yourself and I decided that I wanted to be wearing the pieces in my wardrobe that I really loved rather than wearing things that felt substandard or that made me feel really frumpy or that I just didn't feel myself in and that was kind of the crux for wanting to even try doing these wardrobe challenges. I definitely did find it difficult, although the thing that made it a little bit easier for me was not including any accessories in the 33 count. I think that would have just made it impossible, particularly given that I've got so many pairs of suede shoes and I'm just not good when it rains. But I did find it really beneficial in that it definitely curbed my shopping and I also really started to appreciate the wardrobe pieces that I was wearing and I felt really good about what I was actually wearing on a daily basis. I knew what worked for me and I knew what outfits I could just throw on when I wasn't sure what to wear. I hear that phrase so often that you've got a closet full of clothing but nothing to wear and I certainly felt that but once I started embarking on these challenges I no longer really felt that I had nothing to wear. I always felt like there was something that I could put on, there was something that I would look good in and there was something that would make me look presentable to the world in my wardrobe and that for me was what I was really striving for and what I was really looking for as well and I guess it was also the concept that I really do want to be able to try and live with a little bit less because truth be told we don't need as much as we want to have 
and there's no denying that even a year and a half on I still want to be able to buy all of the shoes in the world I definitely wish list a lot but I have kind of learned to only buy what I think will work with what I have and also be really careful with my purchases and really think them through before I pull the trigger on anything. I think that there are a lot of merits to doing a minimalist wardrobe challenge, particularly if you have the time to really plan it out because it does involve quite a bit of planning and I would recommend trying to plan a couple of weeks in advance just so you can make sure you've got everything that you need and also so that you can make sure that everything is going to be very cohesive and work together and that you can make a lot of different outfits with what you've selected and that can be the really tricky part I think there's definitely a lot of merit to doing a minimalist wardrobe challenge particularly in that it does help you to define what you really love and wear it a lot which if you're spending a lot of money on something like I quite often tend to do, that's really what you're aiming for. You don't want to buy something expensive and then only wear it once or twice. While for the most part I have felt really good about what I've been wearing with my capsules, occasionally I do feel a little bit drab and a little bit bored and a little bit like I've been looking sloppy. And I think that really comes down to the way that I've been pairing things, but it is one of those things that can happen, particularly if you are picking more casual items. Overall, I do think it's a really great process and it's definitely helped me with slowing down the amount of shopping that I'm doing, particularly when doing it in combination with the five piece French wardrobe challenge, which I'll link that video down below in case you haven't seen it yet. And it's really just made me feel a lot better about what I have purchased and I know what I have in my closet suits me and it's the right style for me. I'd love to know if any of you are thinking about doing your own capsule wardrobe for the upcoming autumn, fall or spring, summer months. Um, it'd be really great to be supportive of each other because as I said, it can get a little bit hard towards the end. And also if you've got any questions about capsule wardrobes, drop them down below. I am going to be doing a video on how to build a capsule wardrobe and including a little workbook that should help you to build your own if you're doing it for the very first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe that it's given you a little bit to think about in terms of whether you want to try the 30 for 30 wardrobe challenge or project 333 or perhaps you want to make up your own version which encompasses both but maybe has a few other little elements which make it perfect for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!